USD CAD. Now this is a very, very nice potential setup. I'm gonna show you at the end of the video my exact entry requirements. So always look at the bigger picture as always. Weekly time frame. I can see some really, really nice structure here. And the more you backtest these pairs, the more you understand their characteristics, the structure, and you might not see it easily right now, but the more you're on the charts, the quicker it stands out. So straight away we can see here, we've actually got this really nice flag form, and it's a huge flag. What do we expect? Potential drop. So let's mark that on nice and neat, and that's what it's gonna look like. So we can see actually here, We've been testing the top of this flag multiple times, so we could be looking for a, a lovely long-term short. So what's our next move? We're on the weekly time frame. We know we're looking for shorts. We know we're in this huge structure. We need to see at the top of the structure respects, yes. But we also need to start fine-tuning on the lower time frames to pick our entry. So what we're gonna do, zoom into this section here on the daily time frame. So daily time frame, we can see, we pretty much tested the top of that large structure. What do we expect at these levels? Double tap. Always, double tops, head and shoulders, price isn't just gonna hit once and then continue to fall. It doesn't happen like that. So what other structure can we see here? Well, if we connect these highs up, connect these lows up, we've actually got another flag, haven't we? A really large flag, pretty much a channel. So let's mark that on nice and neat. You can see it here, price has come up to this level, pushed through, and now try to drop. So what am I gonna expect? Either a push up to there for a double top, or a fake out to this level, then a big drop. It's exactly what I'm looking to do. First target gonna be bottom of that channel, but didn't swing the trade to the bottom of the weekly channel. And this is why it's so great looking at the bigger picture, because it gives us confidence in our direction. We're definitely not looking for longs here, are we, at this level? No, we're not. We're gonna wait for some rejection. If price doesn't reject and then breaks out, of course, we'll just reanalyze. But at the moment, all the structure, all the confluences are giving me confidence in a short position. All I'm waiting for now is I wanna see price simply come back up, either test this level to create that double top or fake out and then a drop. So let's use DCAD, wait for that bigger picture analysis to play out and then I'm gonna be looking to take a nice short position. Catch my daily updates by subscribing to my channel. If you wanna see some more analysis now, click here, and there's a link in the bio for you to get seven days free for the Golden Suite.